Okay, this is my version of Old Joe Clark. Hope you like this. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it helps you. Uh, gives you a nice version that you can pick on the banjo. Um, I've seen a bunch of different... You know, we're just doing like a lot of single notes. I tend to want to uh, work the notes more into rolls. Uh, like at the very beginning, I'm going to hammer on the second string. Now I'm going to leave... Um, this finger here, but I'm going to move my index finger over to the first string, the second fret, right behind where my second finger is here. So five, two, one, five. Now I'm going to put my third finger down right beside where my second finger is on the first string again, uh, third fret this time. Okay, so I'm, I'm still keeping this one back here because I'm going right back to it. So I'm starting with these two, moving this one over, adding this one, and that's a one, two, one, one, two, one, five. I'm actually using my thumb. It's easier for me than trying to. You can do it either way you want to. I find it goes faster for me if I'm... able to uh, get that thumb down the second string just goes faster for me that way so that's that's the reason I teach it this way and so I'm going to hammer on the second string five two one five one two one five so I'm putting this ring finger down for that third fret and then taking it off to go back to the second fret one two one five I'm doing a reverse roll and that's down to this uh, three to two pull off. That's my first phrase. So I've done. I'm counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same thing. Now I'm going to do some four rolls here. Five, three, one, five, two, one. Now when I do that five, two, one, I'm going to pick back up on my hammer here on the second string. So I do five, three, one, five, two, one. And here's my same little sequence again. Five, two, one, five, one, two, one, five, one, two, three, one, three. Ending sequence is going to be a Cripple Creek slide. Now this one, uh, I'm going to pull off same three to two pull off that I always do on the third string. But I'm going to move across here. And that may be a little bit tough to keep that first string clear in there. So you want maybe want to work on this lick by itself a little bit. Three, two, four. I have to really curl over to uh, clear off that first string. Three, two, four, one of my strings. Pull it off on the third string. Fretting the fourth string on the fourth fret. Okay. Uh, and then a three pinch. My first ending is the fourth string going back to my hammer. Same as I had at the top of the page. And going through and repeating the A part. second ending here I'm going to do uh, I'm going to fret the fourth string here on the second fret and do a slow slide this is more uh, I don't know this is two quarter notes I'm sorry <laughs> Let's see if I can get there like so uh, so I do um, three pitch four four slide 
and then I go five three one five two one five two one five two pitch. Now those are four rolls. Five three one five two one. That four roll I put a hammer on on the second uh, string. So five three one five two one. Next four roll is another five two one. I move back here to the first fret. Open and pinch. Open second string and pinch. So I'm going to start back here on the second fret of the fourth string. Do my slow slide here. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Pinch is the way that goes. And I like to give this one almost a full beat and then slide fairly quickly up to the next beat. So one, two, three, four, one. May take a little practice. Here's my Cripple Creek slide. Here's my three to two pull off. That's a three, two, three, one. Now, another thing we might want to work on you should have already worked on this from your from the chords video that I did uh, a few years ago. It's this an F chord, and uh, using my my fourth finger here, third finger, first finger, fourth fingers on the third fret fourth string. Second, that's a fourth, third finger is on the fourth string. Oh, third fret. Second finger, middle finger, is on the third string, second fret. Index finger is on the first fret of the second string. Pinky's down here on the, um, what string is that anyway? That's the first string, and that's the third fret. It's an F chord. Same as your G chop chord that we worked on. Except it's two frets back, right, right off the nut of the instrument. And here I'm doing just a simple little four reverse roll, except I start on the fourth string. Four, two, one, five, three, two, one. Four, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Okay? Okay? So going back to my slow slide on the fourth string. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three. pretty much put all those fingers down at the same time. So, here again, we do a chord drill. Open strings, F chord. Open strings, F chord. About five million times. Now I'm gonna go on, and here I do a quick slide on the fourth string. I do the third string first, open. And then slide, hammer, first fret. Open second string and pinch. So three, four, three, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, pinch. Now, don't confuse these two slides. The first one is two full beats. It's like eight times slower. I think that's right. This one is the whole slide is on one eighth note. Gotta be quick. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Pitch. Here's my cripple creek slide again. Here's my pull off uh, going to the fourth string. Fourth fret. Three. Pitch. First ending goes back to the slow slide. Hammer. First fret. Open. Pitch. Slide. F chord. Three quick slide. Hammer. First fret. Open. Slide. Second inning, I do my hammer on. 
back up to the top of the page. Okay, so that's uh, a brief explanation of all these licks. Um, some, uh, probably this lick here. Might need a little work just to get the finger in where you're used to it. And of course, that, that F chord can be pretty nasty when you're first, first, uh, you know, learning to do it. I'd recommend you go back to my, my chords, uh, five string banjo chords video and check that out. Okay. And then these two slides, four, one, slow. F chord. And here comes the quick one. Go back to the top and do it all the way through very slowly and follow the tab along as we go. One, two, three.
Yeah, now you'll notice there at the very last, I did a little brush here instead of just doing the two, the, the four string by itself. I did a. Now that you gotta um, be pretty quick about coming in and doing the brush and then getting right back into position with your right hand. Adds a little extra flair to it. Uh, I don't do it there because that that's quick slide I can do it on the slow slide okay this is an especially fun one it can go pretty quick as fast as you want to go with it have fun